Screaming Geek Meteor. I am Jerry the Geek. Uh, this video we are going to talk about Orca, the killer whale on 4K. But before we get into that, if you like physical media, 4Ks, Blu-rays, even DVDs, I like talking about those once in a while. You know, like home theater movies in general. You know, check out my other videos on my channel because I do these reviews. I do unboxings, collection updates, discussions. You know, check all that jazz out. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. So today we're going to talk about the cult classic Orca the Killer Whale on 4K. You know, the movie came out in 1977, you know, two years after Jaws, you know, rated PG, uh, directed by Michael Anderson. You got Richard Harris, uh, Charlotte uh, Rampling, uh, Will Sampson, Bo Derek with clothes. You know, I should say that. <laughs> this is another one of those movies, you know, I grew up with. Again, being a couple, you know, right after Jaws, it was inspired by Jaws, but the filmmakers, they wanted something along those lines, but something different. So that's why they came up with the idea of, you know, a, a killer whale. Uh, Richard Harris's character in this, you know, he's a fisherman. He's just, he's uh, basically he's out to try to make some money once they catch a killer whale and sell it to the aquarium. And the... Basically, he catches one, but he catches a female instead of a male. And in the process of bringing it up on a boat, and she gives birth to it right there on the boat. And the mate, you know, the male mate out in the water sees everything and basically has a vengeance. So the whole movie is about the, you know, orca, you know, seeking revenge on the guy that is responsible for killing his mate and child. So again, I grew up with this. I've always loved this movie. And I've had a DVD for years. I never picked up the Blu-ray. Uh, Shop Factory did put a Blu-ray out of it. But I never picked up. So I never picked it up. I just always hoped for something better. Now this 4K release, you know, comes from Studio Canal. You know, this is a still book. Uh, it actually came out back in, I think, uh, September, I think it was. So it's a fairly new release. Now, there is a standard version you can see here that just came out. But again, both of these are UK. This did not get a US release. Uh, we'll get into that, uh, how to get it at the end. But uh, before getting into presentation here, um, Studio Canal does this with their 4Ks. has a little screen that pops up before the movie talking about the restoration. So I thought I'd share that with you. You can see here, it's in a screenshot. So, you know, this restoration was completed by VDM SAS from the original Technicolor three strip color uh, negative, scanned and restored in 4K. During the restoration process, particular care was to be taken to combine a three color separation to produce the final uh, color image. The project was brought to you by Studio Canal and supervised by Delphine Russell, Sophie Boyer, and Jean Pierre Boyguet. Bridget, you know, French names, I'm good at butchering any names, really. Again, uh, it's something I saw, uh, I saw with the Studio Canal uh, 4K of uh, King Kong. They did the same thing. So it's kind of nice to throw that up there, give you a little uh, intro info about the restoration. Anyways, you know, the movie was filmed in 35mm, finished with the HDR10. And for, you know, an older movie, this does have a striking presentation. I mean, from the opening scene, you see a couple of the orcas, you know, jumping in and out of the water. You know, the blacks and whites really pop off the screen. It has that deep contrast. And, of course, the blue color of the waters. And, of course, you know, throughout the movie, you got, you know, the blue skies. And the details of the water, facial details, definitely have that depth, the textures. And at the same time, everything's natural looking. And you know, near the end, when he's uh, chasing down the orca, because the orca wants to draw him out and fight it, fight them on his own territory, and they get near into the Arctic, so he got the icebergs. So all the details of the icebergs, all that white, phenomenal. This is an incredible 4K here. Now, as far as a Blu-ray comparison, again, I did not get the Blu-ray from Shout Factory. Which that was probably pretty good. So I can't tell you how this compares with that. 
And the Blu-ray here was raw. It's region B locked. So I couldn't tell how the Blu-ray was on this set. Now for the audio track, we got a, a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, which is a model just split into both speakers. It was a decent track overall. Definitely very dated. It is definitely far from perfect. It's just kind of there. And of course, the score was done by Ennio uh, Morricone. Or Morricone. I probably butchered the name. I'm, ter I'm sorry I'm terrible with names. But he's a pretty good, does some pretty decent scores. I talked about, his name came up when I did my um, Movie Maestros uh, video I did a while back. So for a packaging, again, this is the steel book that came from Studio Canal for, I got through Zavi. We've got the, the J card here, has all the info on the back. And at the front. And some people I've seen on different forums, some people didn't like the artwork. I thought it was pretty nice. And I, I like the contrast with the blue, you know, the ocean, you know, the killer whale with the blood of the red and his character. And we got the back. I thought this was a pretty cool steel book. And you open it up, it has a different artwork on a Blu-ray and a 4K. Again, the Blu-ray is region B locked. And of course, 4K is just free. Uh, no artwork behind, so I'm not going to take the disc out to look at that. Now, as far as the bonus features, pretty skimpy. They only have one thing here. It's an interview with uh, Philippe. I cannot, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this. It's spelled G-U-E-D-J. As a French guy. And so he speaks French, so it's all subtitled to read. I forget how long it was. I think it was around 20 minutes. I actually did watch the interview. It was kind of it had some interesting stuff in it. I'm not a big interview guy, but I did, you know, I, I did check it out. It was pretty interesting. So to wrap it up, you know, the 4K here of Orca. If you're a fan of this, I would recommend picking this up. Or if you don't want the 4K, if you just need a Blu-ray, it's from Shop Factor. But of course, it's going for high dollar, so it's cheaper to get the 4K here. Now, Zavi still does have these, uh, running about $39. So shipping going to be a little bit more. The UK, very expensive as far as Amazon UK. Now, again, the, uh, the standard did come available. Um, so you can pick it up through Amazon UK, runs about 24, 29, about 24, 25 US dollars. But if you do want to wait, this is getting a release from Kino Lorber on 4K. There's no date, just said sometime in 2025, so I'm not sure. But of course, with Kino Lorber, a lot of theirs has, uh, they do a Dolby Vision. This does not have Dolby Vision. So this is one I might double dip when it comes out from Kino just to, you know, compare it to. I'm not sure yet. But again, I just thought I'd throw that out if you don't want to pick this up, you know, spend an extra money. If you want to get the, if you want to wait and if you want to play the waiting game, you know, and get it from Kino Lorber, I would just, you know, maybe just do that. But again, if you're a fan of the movie, I would recommend getting it one way or another. This looked incredible. Now, uh, please comment below. Let me know what you thought. You know, if you've been a fan of the movie, if not, give it a, you know, give it a whirl. But even after all these years, it has held up. It's very enjoyable. It's got some great characters, you know, the cast. So that pretty much does it for my look at the 4K of Orca, the killer whale. So please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and we'll see you soon. Geek out.